say Arga. Jesus, you love me, oh, 
that you gave your life for me. What manner of love is this? What manner of love is this that you gave it all for me, oh God? Dear God, you love me. You love me. You love me. Thank you for loving me too much Thank you for loving me too much Thank you for loving me too much You love me too much Thank you. 
saying I will.
Let's all stand to receive the bride.
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. We ask for the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit to come and to be with us, to help us, to guide us, to ensure that your perfect will is done. In Jesus' name, amen. I would like to ask the congregation to sit. The couple continues to stand. Before we continue, I would like to recognize and honor the presence of Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete, one of the fathers of the body of Christ in Ghana. Thank you very much, sir. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is commended of the Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men into which holy estate these two come now to be joined. John and Ruby, I require and charge you both that if you know not of any just cause why you may not marry, you should with all sincerity say so now, not forgetting that any two couple together in contradiction to the word of God are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. John, please say this after me. I solemnly declare, can I have a microphone for him, please? I solemnly declare, I solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful impediment. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Why I, why I, John, Ni Ama, may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. Two. Two. Ruby Na Afale Mills. Put your hands together for John. To so the bride, I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I do know not of any lawful impediments. That I do not know of any lawful impediments. Why I? Why I, Ruby Na Afale Mills Odoi may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. Two to join me Amma. Wow, put your hands together for her. John Amma, Bishop. do you love Ruby Mel's Odre and do you receive her now to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to honor and cherish her and forsaking all the other maids of honor, cleave only unto her as long as you both shall live? If you will say I do, Bishop, I do. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Ruby Melsodwe, do you love John Ama and do you receive him now to be your wedded husband? Do you promise to obey, honor, and cherish him and forsaking all the other brothers, cleave only unto him as long as you both shall live? If you will say I do. I do. Put your hands together for her. Who gave her this bride away into marriage? Microphone, please. Yes, yes Daddy, please. Do you willingly and freely give Ruby Mills, Odre, your daughter, to John Ama to be his lawfully wedded wife? I, Peter Mills, freely give away my daughter, Ruby Na Afale Mills Odo, to John in holy matrimony. And put your hands together for him. Clap for him. If I had a daughter, I don't think I'll say this. So put your hands together for him. At this time, I'd want the couple to face each other. Bridegroom, please repeat after me. I, I, microphone up, please. No, to yourself. You. I, I, your name, please. Johnny Ama. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Leave my father and my mother. Leave my father and my mother. And I join myself to you. And I join myself to you. Please make these vows. Looking at your eyeball to eyeball. 
and I join myself to you. And I join myself to, to you. be a husband to you. To be a husband to you. From this moment forward. From this moment forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. Clap for John. <laughs> Ruby Nafali Mels Odoe. Please repeat after me. Say I. I, Rubina Afale Mills Odoi. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Submit myself to you. Submit myself to you. Looking at him eyeball to eyeball. Say, and to be a wife to you. And to be a wife to you. From this moment forward. From this moment forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. Please put your hands together for her. <laughs> Can I have the rings, please? Take it out. No, no, I need all. Thank you. Made of gold, one of the purest metal. The ring suggests your commitment to unfailing purity and fidelity in your marriage. As you wear it, may you be continually reminded of this commitment. Also, a ring is a complete circle with no point of division. They demonstrate a commitment on your part to remain unseparated and inseparable for the rest of your lives let us pray father we ask you to redeem these rings with the blood of jesus and bless them and as they wear them it will be a promise to keep their vows as long as they live in jesus name amen I want you to mention her name three times and at this time if you have a special name you call her you can also mention it say ruby ruby na afale mills odoi is that all you call her looking at her eyeball to eyeball <laughs> if there's any other special name there's a time to show your the depth of your relate. Please put your phone off, groomsman. No, I won't give you a few seconds. Do it. With this, say Ruby. Ruby. With this ring. With this ring. I commit all my love to you. I commit all my love to you. As I love the Lord. As I love the Lord. So do I love you. So do I love you. I receive you as God's gift to me. I receive you as God's gift to me. As God enables me, as God enables me, I will lead our home spiritually. I will lead our home spiritually, physically, physically, and socially, and socially, under the lordship of Jesus Christ. Under the lordship of Jesus Christ. I will seek to support and encourage you. I will seek to support and encourage through each challenge of life. Through every and each challenge of life. All that is mine is yours. All that is mine is yours. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Please put the ring on the finger. Oh, clap, clap for him. Clap for him. Looking at him eyeball to eyeball, say John or whatever name you have to call him. John, my heart beats. Wow, your heart beats. Okay. With this ring, with this ring ruby look looking at him eyeball to eyeball the eyes the bible says are the windows to the soul with this ring with this ring i commit I all commit, my love to you i commit all my love to you as i love the lord as i love the lord so do i love you so do i love you i receive you as god's gift to me I receive you as God's gift to me. As God enables me. As God enables me. I will trust the Lord. 
I will trust the Lord to be submissive to you. To be submissive to you. As my spiritual head. As my spiritual head. And as the leader of our home. And as the leader of our home. I will seek to support. I will seek to support. And encourage you. And encourage you. Spiritually. Spiritually. Physically. Physically. And socially. And socially. Through each challenge of life. Through each challenge of life. All that is mine is yours. All that is mine is yours. Until death shall part us. Until death shall part us. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for them. God bless you. At this time, the couple will need for prayer. Will kneel for prayers. Can I have the cushions, please? Quickly, please. Help them. John, you will help your bride to kneel and then you will kneel yourself. I would like to invite Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete, all other ministers here present to come to the stage. All other pastors, ministers, please join us on stage. Let's all stretch forth our hands and pray for them, asking for the blessings of God to come upon them in the name of Jesus. Any and every wish you will have for yourself, ask God to bless them with what you would want to be blessed with. In the name of Jesus. Ask for the power of God to be upon them. Binding the spirit of divorce as concerning them. Stretch forth your hands. Bless them. I would like to ask Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete to lay hands on them and bless them. Pray for them. In the name of Jesus. My faith has found a resting place. Not in device, nor creed. Not in device, I trust the ever living one. I trust the ever living one. His wish for me shall plead. His wish for me shall I need no other argument. I need no other argument. I need no other is summed up in this hymn. My faith has found a resting place not in device nor creed. I trust the ever-living one. His wounds for me shall play. I need no other argument and I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. We bring John and Ruby before you, our God. I stand with all these great men and women of God. And I pray that where we fail, they will not fail. Where we stop, they will not stop. Where we made mistakes, they will not make mistakes. In the spirit in the home of Ruby and in the spirit in the home of John that destroy marriages, they have no right over this marriage. This marriage shall be sustained. Blessed with healthy children. And God above all in this marriage will see the love and the greatest respect. Let this marriage be blessed without blemish and blessed without limit. And just as you've been their source of inspiration in this many years past, be their hope for the days to come. Bless them with children. Bless them financially. Let them have no rest until they know you in your beauty and the power of your holiness and let this marriage know God Christ the King 
And finally we say, I need no other place. It is enough that Jesus died. And I did die. In conclusion, we say in every area that the Indian marriages here have succeeded, let it work on them. So for how many years have you done this? Six, 16. 16. I've done 30. So we put the 16 and 30 together. You have 46 years here. Any good thing that has happened in a marriage, have more than that. Any blessing that has been in it, have more than that. And as I said earlier, anything that did not go well, you will never have it. Be blessed beyond measure. In Jesus' name, amen. I made no it is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Help me up. You can feel for the king. couple remain standing for as much as John Amma and Ruby Mel's Odoe have openly declared their intention before God and this congregation to keep all the vows they have made to each other it is my privilege as a minister of the gospel under the covering of Bishop Doug Heward Mills and by the authority vested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ and the government of Ghana to pronounce from this day forward that you'll be husband and wife to the glory of God. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. At this time, I would like the couple to face each other, turn and face each other. And at this time, John, you may unveil the bride, and if indeed it is Ruby Mel's Odoe, you may kiss the bride. may now kiss the bride if it's indeed it will be melted on. But in this church, we don't kiss our wives that way. So please kiss her properly. She, she's now your wife. Hallelujah. Clap for them. After, after such a case, we need to purify the atmosphere. So we'll receive a song at this time. Please take your seats.
will go and sign the marriage register while the offering is taken and so um, what it is is that 100% of all the offerings you give today go to the bride and groom um, we are all living in Ghana and you know how Ghana is now so I want you to encourage John and Ruby as they are getting married that their blessedness has started from today so we are at liberty to give in dollars pounds euros you can sign checks I'm sure those of you who are here know John's mobile money number as well so you can but give generously everything you give goes to them so I'd like to welcome Reverend Ediam at this time to take the offering while we go up to sign the registry I'll ask two witnesses from the groom side and two witnesses for the bride to please um, come up with us so um, John and Ruby if you John John and Ruby please we are going to sign the register now while take out your checkbooks two witnesses from the bride side please um, come along with us two witnesses from the groom side you know we really need to sign the register by 4 p.m. so you need to clap for them as they go while we receive Reverend Ediam to take their offering please you can clap for them you can clap for the bride and it's also a very good time for us to support them and bless them they are beginning their journey and they need a lot and as you sow into their lives you're also sowing into your marriage or into your daughter's marriage or your son's marriage so we are all being encouraged to give you can give check to please and please take notes all offerings are going straight to the couple it's not to the church they are for our brother and sister so please let us uh, make ready to give offerings. Wonderful. Let us pray as we give our offering, please. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Father, your word said it's a blessing when we give. And your word said in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, that as we give, it will come back to us in good measure pressed down, shaken together, running over, will you cause men to give back unto us? So Lord, as we give supporting the newly, as we give supporting our brother and our sister at the tide or not, Father, we are believing you, O oh God, for better things, for great things, for fruitfulness, for multiplication. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, can I have some ushers here to quickly take the offering basket round? Thank you. Please, I hear some people want to pay by Momo. So please, please provide the Momo, Momo number now so that we can also thank God for our president. The easiest way of transacting money is by Momo. So there are others who also want to pay by Momo. Powerful. Please, for those who want to pay by Momo, the Momo number is 054 188 8877. I want to take it again 054 188 8877. Okay, I'll take it again 0541 8888. The eights are four and then seven seven you can give a thousand you can give five thousand you can give ten thousand they are beginning the journey and as you support them god will also support you so it is very necessary that as you sow maybe you're also here you're not married you are believing god 
to also tie the knot one day it's a good place for you to sow a seed it's a good ground for you to also sow the seed if you are already married you are also supporting for god also to rain blessings upon your marriage and that's and that's dr the very reverend dr lawrence that i prayed for them those one key into that particular anointing for fruitfulness and for blessing you can also add okay somebody signal me i should read the number again is zero five four one eight 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 seven seven please be generous with your giving and god will also bless you if you have a check too please you can you can also sign it for the couple we accept all currencies they accept all currencies dollars pounds sterling oh somebody said canadian canadian dollars you see we have families who came all the way from canada please everything we accept we accept everything i love that i like that it's too powerful hey please Odi, i say no naira so please if you are from nigeria just convert it into dollars yes nigeria we like big things so dollars so just make it dollars and you also be very very blessed okay wonderful yes um please we also have the overflow upstairs so if you're watching from upstairs please please the someone is coming up please give a very good offering don't say that you're upstairs so you are just giving something wonderful all right so as we wait some people are still giving so beautiful Enjoy the song as we wait. In his time, in his time, he makes all things so very beautiful. In his time, Lord, please show. Teaching me your way, as I may do just what you say in your time, in your time, Ooh. in your time, you may. Everything beautiful in your time. Lord, our lives to you we bring. May each day we have to let be to you a lovely thing. Yeah. 
against the wall And it looked as if it was over You made a way And we are gathered here Only because you very um, important uh, info please the moment number that I gave the name on it is John Ni Amar okay um, someone just sent a message on the zoom so I have to quickly respond please the name on the Momo account is John Ni Amar so it's not going to any other person It's going straight to the man of the house wonderful so it is 0541-88877 the name is John Ni Amar thank you very much our um, Zoom congregation. Please bless us with the songs. Casting crowns, lips and 
hands Bowing down Is all we've come to do Casting crowns Lifted hands Bowing down Is all we've come to do Adonai, you reign on high. Adonai, 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 you reign on high. You reign on high. Ladies and gentlemen, let's rise and welcome the latest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Ama. at this time
The Bible says, other foundation can no man lay, except that which is laid in Jesus Christ our Lord. So as John and Ruby start this foundation, start this marriage, we need to set the foundation of the word of God. And today we are blessed to have none other than one of the fathers in the body of Christ worldwide. And we are blessed in Ghana to also have him as one of our founders and our fathers of the modern day charismatic movement. You know, it's my great privilege and on behalf of Bishop Doug Heward Mills to invite to share the word of God with us, Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete. Let's stand to our feet, put our hands together. Welcome Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete to share the word of God with us. Now, don't you think that this man, when it comes to heaven, he can make it straight? <laughs> Even the ways. Put your hand together for the bishop. This is beautiful. There's one thing, please take your seat. There's one thing about Lighthouse. I've always talked, and um, Brother Stanley Amato there will tell you that we've always had these good times with everybody. You know, those days in London where myself and Stanley and all the team, you do level, will go and preach at Lighthouse. It was a big deal. I'm happy for you, Ruby. And John, I am happy for you. I want to share with you from my heart, so I have no notes here. Because I've always believed that marriage is a miracle. How many of you agree with me? That marriage is a miracle. From Peter Mills Odo's home. And from Mr. Eh? Mr. John Amma's home are two different homes. How Ruby was brought up will not necessarily be the way John was brought up. And so for them to even live together, it is a miracle. Those of you who are not privileged to come with us to the signing, we had some young guys at the top. In fact, the crowd upstairs is more than the crowd we have downstairs here. And they share jama. Muma Johnny Osi. Muma Johnny Osi. You see, the people down here, they don't know how to share jama. The people up there, they share jama until Ruby's father starts begging that they should allow, allow, allow. But marriage is a miracle. So I want to leave with you seven things today. And this 17, Ruby listened to me very well. John listened to me very well. A few weeks ago, John and Ruby visited me at home. And Bishop was, we were seated with them in the house. A very good friend of mine, Reverend Atul Roxon, and then Reverend Dr. Malonate. Please, let's acknowledge this man. Very great man of God. He's also a tele evangelist in the UK. For those of you who watch Christian Channel and all those Christian programs, you this face is a familiar face. Then remember what they said. They look at them and they said they wish we were going back 30 years the way they are now. Would have done things differently. Would have talked differently. Would have married differently. And would have done things different from the way we've done things. And maybe the scars we have today will not have had those scars. How many of you agree with me? Then I realized the secret is when we walk with the Lord in the light of, light of his word, his word what a glory, glory he, he shares on, on our way while we, we do his good will he abides with, with us still, still. And with all trust and obey. Somebody sing with me. Trust, trust and, and obey. obey. For there is no to be happy in Jesus. And trust and obey. And let me say. This, there's a young lady here I want to salute before I preach. 
lady is not that young but she looks young will you please come and let me hug you before everybody before we begin that's true yes now i know monday is going to be your birthday how old are you going to be on monday <laughs> 93 Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday dear Mama And uh, John, come and hug her. In fact, this is not breaking protocol at all. Come and hug her. If you have a 93 year old, yes, in your wedding, your grandmother, your grandmother, your grandmother, your great grandmother, uh, your grandma. Mm, that's Peter's Peter's mother. So, ah, bah, a family for KK. I want you to pray for them. Thank you. Pray for them. Yes. Say what a prayer. Oh, <laughs> this is age. John Ruby, we thank the great God for your life. Thank God for bringing you together. May all your wishes come true. May you not separate yourselves be like me in everything be with your husband and you to be with your wife until death parts you i thank god for your lives i bless you like jacob bless you and i bless you again and again god bless you thank you so much Amen. Wonderful. Hey, John, you've started working already. Sure. And no, I don't know. You want to keep your home. And let me say this, Ruby. I don't know. This is not this is not a PR, but come. Your mother, come here. You sold this wedding gown. Budenche for your daughter. Ah. Anytime anybody is going to, mother of the group, anybody, anybody that I know that is going to be having a wedding. I will let you so this is decent how many of you agree with me <laughs> well sooner let me talk to you now fun is over the nonsense must stop marriage is a miracle john and ruby this suit you are wearing and this fine wedding gown your mother has sewn for you is not a marriage. Marriage is life. Because very soon you'll be faced with reality. Ruby, you are yet to know John. And John, you are yet to know Ruby. And you'll be surprised. Things that you got excited about is a facade. It doesn't exist. How many of you have been married here before? That the things you got really excited about, Asuma Malikra, Sete Denche, 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 Wa, Afebu, Afebu, Sulia. So, as you begin marriage today, best man, your work has ended. And so, I'm preaching, and every nonsense must stop. Don't do any protocol. Did you hear me, made of honor? Your work has ended. This is serious church time. And on normal sense, I will let you sit somewhere else. This thing you've entered into is a serious business. It has broken homes and wrecked homes and made enemies. My father worked in the high courts until he died. Your uncle Stanley will tell you that my father says the most ugly cases that come to the court. It's marriage cases. 
you hear the most indecent things you can ever hear, including how people's orgasm happens, including the size of people's manhood, including the size of people's private. How ugly those things come into court. So this is a serious business, not a best man and uh, this business at all. So you are one. As you enter into this marriage, open your eyes to not allow mistakes to carry you away. And the seven things I want to leave with you, number one, don't forget God in this marriage. Any marriage that is not based on the principles of God has no future. Full stop. You better get connected to God and even connect, get to the right environment that can make you live godliness, not foolishness. Marriage is a serious business. Number two thing is that marriage must be based on certain principles. You are not just marrying. You cannot mess these two families up. Because whatever you do, your mother will be offended. Whatever you do, your father will be offended. And by the time you realize, a lot of us here today, we have caused trouble to marriage. It's okay. Gentlemen, it's okay. We have caused trouble to marriages and homes that we shouldn't have done. I almost got divorced during my honeymoon. Yes. Stanley, you know that story very well. I almost got divorced. How did I get divorced? A friend was generous enough to carry us on a plane to Scotland for our honeymoon after our wedding. And we had a big wedding. We had a big wedding. Barbara was a student leader. I was a student leader. We all studied in London. We all had, we all crefe people. So we had a big wedding. And we landed in Scotland. Barbara was the first girl to become a school prefect in Accra Academy. She went from one to form five in the Brie Girls and went to Accra Academy for sixth form. And for some reason, the year she went there, that was where they had the biggest intake of women. So they added her to the prefecture. You know how girls like beautiful ladies. So she won. So you can imagine how the cracker boys and my friends and everybody was happy. And the gentleman in Scotland we knew told me that, Lawrence, there is a lady here in Scotland who sells Komi Keshito. I'm about to destroy my home. She sells what? Komi Keshito. My father is from Dodoa. My mother is from Osu. I was born at Jamestown. So if somebody said, come here and she talk in Scotland, what do you think? <laughs> so I said, oh, Charlie, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then Barbara looked at me and said, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Now, when Barbara said it didn't register, I don't know, 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 are you going to eat come on, come on, on your own moon day? He didn't register. Barbara had a friend who was called Eileen. Eileen was the one who made an issue. He said, oh, yes, ah, the name, Kusenyu, Dodoa Kusenyu. So I look into Barbara's face. I said, Barbara, did you hear what your friend just told? Your friend just called me a bushman. And Barbara said, she didn't see the seriousness. Learn to see the seriousness of John. And John learned to see the seriousness of Ruby. And don't take people's feelings for granted. A lot of feelings in this house has been taken for granted. And so you'll be surprised that a lot of people who came as married people, they are not married anymore. They are not married because they came to church. In the room, on the bed, they are not married. So I look into Barbara's face and I ask Barbara, Barbara, Dodoa and Amanokrum, which one is a better village? I have killed my marriage. Barbara is a typical Aquapem lady who, when she's upset with you, she writes a letter and put on your bed. So you say, okay, then I'm sorry. Then go to your kumi, and I'll go to my Chinese. So my sisters and brothers went with her to eat the Chinese. They were smarter than me. 30 years ago, I wasn't this smart. And I went with my friends who wanted to eat kinky. And we had a nice kinky. But when we came back to the hotel, 
she slept the Chinese way and I slept the kinky way. John never you take jokes for granted and be very sensitive in this marriage. And truly I realized that 30 years down the line I'm realizing that why didn't I follow Barbara to the Chinese? And even if that's not what I want to do, why didn't I take Barbara with me? Knowing me, I can pull Barbara, what the, what the, She'll get embarrassed before the people, so she'll follow me to the kinky. But I let her go with my brothers. She's not married to my brothers. And I went, John, wisdom is required in marriage. A lot of men and women, a lot of us sitting here today, we miss that wisdom and we lost the woman. Ruby, so do you need wisdom to man it? Especially in this day and age when it's come to Christianity, people think because you're a Christian, you can't divorce. Where? There's so much divorce in Christianity today that you can imagine. Be careful with this marriage. And day one, day two, day three, all the, the, the sex styles that Pastor Sam Labi has taught me, nothing happened until we came back to London. I was upset. She was upset. But we're practically upset about nothing. How many of you here knows we've been upset about nothing for a long time? How many of you have been upset about something in the marriage before? Years later, you sit down, seriously, why did I get upset that Barbara called me a bushman? I'm a bushman after all. Who cares? <laughs> Who really cares? So what? But I took it so serious. And we worried ourselves for those weeks for nothing. Ruby, be careful. And John, be careful. That the mistakes some of us did, you will not do. The next thing I want to talk to you is trust. Trust so much to the extent that you don't give a toss about what somebody say about your spouse. God, trust me. I've seen your friends around. Some of them are wild. They are not human beings. I don't miss my words on that. Some of them are not like you. And so don't let a friend determine what your marriage should be. The marriage is about the two of you. Two of you. And this thing with all sacrifice. I was supposed to have gone to London yesterday because of you people. I'm here. You cannot let me waste all that money. And then later on, I notice, okay, you are quite. <laughs> Next thing is that don't be offended about everything. Because sometimes the things we get offended about, you realize that it was not worth it at all. It took us almost six weeks to put our marriage together. It took our Bishop Benson the whole, sir. I told him, Papa. The thing is not working. He said, what have you done? I said, I told him what happened in Scotland. The honeymoon said that you shit for grass. That's what the man of God says. You shit for grass. <laughs> <laughs> so he told me what to do. What do I have to do? Barbara doesn't like Banku. Barbara doesn't have fufu. Barbara doesn't like kokonte. Me too, that is my delicacy. But I want to eat rice. want to eat salad. want to eat wachi. When we travel normally, me, Barbara, Stanley, Stanley, them, they get food to eat because Barbara will give them watch and say, I want to eat Bangkok. Then our bishop asked me to go with Barbara to a restaurant. Are you listening to me? To go and tell Barbara all the things I don't like about her and allow Barbara to tell me all the things she doesn't like about me. And I knew, certainly, I'm the one who is offended because of the way she behaved at Scotland and because she wants me to eat some salad and some rice and things, I have a lot of things to tell her. And Barbara, too, I noticed, doesn't use the paste too well. She presses it from everywhere. The house I come from, you press paste from the bottom. You roll it, roll it, roll it, until when you get finished, human beings, you don't press paste like this. I had to tell her. I had to tell her. I had to about Barbara, I didn't like. I also didn't like the fact that Barbara go to the bathroom and lock the door and spend so long in the bathroom. So we went to the restaurant. I remember like yesterday. We go to the restaurant and I have seven things about Barbara I didn't like. I told her. One of the things I told her was the fact that she spent too long a time in the bathroom. 
You saw oh, she was sorry. She spent that long time there because I bath first normally. And when I bath, I spread the water all over the place. So when she goes, she spent time to clean before she bath. Oh. I shouldn't have said that thing. Okay. Shouldn't. Number two. Number two. Is it me? Number two. I don't like the way when you cook for me, you want me to eat what you like. He said, oh. She thought that was romance. She wants to eat the thing that will make me have better body. This thing. Oh. And I finish with all the seven things. I don't want to say the rest. Even when I want to do the thing, Barbara I want the light on, the off. I don't want the light off. I want the light on. Then I finish my seven point, John. This is why I'm coming to you. And, uh, and the Chinese was coming. The fire was burning. The thing was coming. Then I asked Barbara that, Father, I pray for Barbara that now she understand she will not do the things I don't like. These seven things I've told her. I'm happy she's taken and this thing. I pray. I don't remember her saying amen. But I remember asking her if she also has anything to say. She should feel free and say it. And she brought her back. And opened the back. She had a file with 21 things typed <laughs> about me. I lost appetite. Because some of the things Baba started to say about me, Bishop, oh! Then I realized we lack communication. John and Ruby, if you want this marriage to be sustained, don't leave out communication. Talk. Agree, disagree. As you communicate, you even get to understand yourself better. And if you don't understand yourself, you cannot live together. Then respect paramount. When we left the Chinese restaurant and we came home that day, I felt very bruised. That was the day I realized women can be very wicked. I didn't eat the food. I lost her. But Baba ate very well, ate dessert, ate, and she knew I've been bruised. Especially when I got to know that it's because of the way I mess up the bathroom that they say, I do. In fact, some of the things she said, they want to hear, including telling me that even the cracker boys know I'm a very jealous man. Ah! Those boys who came from my cracker, which of them are very jealous about? But when they come and they want to eat rice, check, I don't I want to be upstairs communicate and as you communicate you love yourself you respect yourself and you realize that you have a future another thing i want you to know is that learn to pray together a prayerless man is a powerless man a prayerless woman is a powerless woman and certainly a prayerless marriage is a powerless marriage if you can hold your hands together to that because he lives i can feel tomorrow because, because he lives all fear is gone all oh, fear, fear is gone. gone and now I know and now, now I, I know. know yes I know, I know. He, he was the future and life is where the living just you can pray together a lot of things we worry ourselves about you know it's not necessary at all most of us older people here if we want to be honest with yourself like the prayer I prayed that where you fail you shouldn't fail where we stop you shouldn't stop where we made mistakes I wish I can go back to 30 years ago certain things we got upset about was not necessary we were cheap and childish as we grow, you realize that it was not important at all. Now, leaving with this story about a woman and a man who got married. Beautiful marriage in New York City. When they were going to get married, in a few weeks' time, it was going to be the bride's birthday, 40th birthday, married a little late. And she said, honey, on my birthday, I needed a necklace. How many of you have seen a necklace before? A necklace. Okay. If you look at some of the woman's neck, you see a necklace there. 
But the necklace that I'm looking for, it is four houses from our house. The shop is there. The necklace is in the, the grocery shop, in the shop, in the showcase there. That is all I wanted for my birthday. And John, the man looked at the sweetheart and said, honey, what's your problem? My whole body is yours. My whole life is yours. And so necklace is no problem. Tell someone, no problem. But a week before her birthday, she went to pass through the grocery shop. And the necklace was still in the shop, in the showroom. So she asked the man, has somebody come to buy something like that? And so this is the only one I have. Nobody has bought it. If you don't buy it now, if somebody come tomorrow, I'll send it to the person. So he went to tell the husband, my sweetheart, the necklace I say I wanted for my birthday is still in the shop. When are you buy? So don't worry. Anything I have is yours. The night before her birthday. Everybody say the night. the night. She went to pass by the necklace shop. Unfortunately for her, the necklace was still there. So she comes home to the man and told the man, my, my, why, why would you do this to me? That I told you I wanted a necklace for my birthday. And the necklace is still there. And you know tomorrow is my birthday. The man said, don't worry. I've told you everything I have is yours. Don't worry. Go and sleep. Hey, go and sleep. She, how many of you have been upset with your husband before? Or your wife have been upset before? Oh, John, welcome to the club. When the woman get upset, when the woman get upset, the day you want to do the thing, you will know they are upset. It's called, don't touch me. So she went to sleep. Bishop, on the non-touch me zone. And then, unfortunately, for the man, got up early in the morning and had a very big Bible in his hands as his birthday present. present. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What did the woman say she wanted for a birthday? What is the man holding in his hands? What kind of nonsense is that? So she takes the Bible from the man, dumped it on the floor, went upstairs, took her back, and left the family home. And for the next 30 years, she was living in Alabama, left New York City, went to Alabama. After 30 years, the man died. She was also 70 years old. Attorney, lawyers came to the house to tell her that your husband had died and has left her. So I left the man 30 years ago. He couldn't buy me a necklace. How can he leave a whole property for me? He followed them to New York. They got to the house. When they opened the door, right in the sitting room, where she left, the Bible was lying there. The Bible she left 30 years ago was still lying at the place there. This was the Bible. This was how I left this house. I wanted my necklace, and he gave me a Bible. She was taking the Bible to illustrate, and the necklace fell. The necklace that she was upset about was supposed to be a surprise in the Bible patience now there was foolishness on all of them their parts foolishness number one on the man's part is that tell the wife shame on you the thing is here shame on you the thing and the foolishness of the woman's part was that she was so angry if she had opened it, I told her I wanted a necklace. Why? What is this Bible thing? The necklace would have fallen. The romance would have been enhanced, but they missed the communication. And in most marriages, we have all missed the communication. John, don't miss the communication. Ruby, don't miss the communication. The next thing they missed was that they had no patience. The man has no patience to take the nonsense of the woman rat rattling. And the woman has no patience to take the joke of the man. The next thing they also miss was that they have no respect for themselves. If they had some level of respect for themselves, they would have approached it different. Now the man is gone, and she's looking at the necklace in their hands. And she has no child. And 30 years is gone, and it's gone. John don't make that mistake. Ruby don't make that mistake. This marriage must be sustained. God bless you. Put your hands together for Dr. Lawrence Tete. Dr. Lawrence Tete, thank you so much for this word. I think it's 
not for them alone but for all married couple who are here some of us have missed it some of us are missing it and i pray that we will stop missing the point and if your bible is still on the floor somewhere please go home pick it call your wife in alabama and tell her oh lily and then ask her to come for her necklace but i think it's um, a powerful way to encapsulate the things that we have to do to make our marriages succeed reverend dr lawrence said thank you once again so much so much john and ruby we pray that you'll be guided by these seven things that um, our father has shared with us this evening amen at this i would like to ask the couple to stand is pastor nanny here i would like him to come and say a word of prayer for them as we continue before we end the service let's put our hands together for pastor nanny from icgc god bless you sir we want to agree and pray for john and um, ruby like um, pastor dr lawrence that has mentioned this journey is miracle full of miraculous and we want to ask that the holy spirit the work of miracles will go with them in the name of jesus father we thank you and I bless you we worship you this evening for the life of john and ruby we know that we have instituted marriage and whatever you have established has the power to succeed so this evening we agree with them that this journey shall succeed in the name of jesus we ask that you go ahead of them and level every mountain bring down every every hill every obstruction to marriages we ask that valleys will be leveled in the name of jesus lord we ask that you create a platform of glory for them that this journey will run smoothly in the name of jesus this even they have been uh, uh, informed on what to do we ask that this information will stay with them in the mighty name of jesus do not listen to friends listen to next door neighbors listen to people who do not matter in this journey we come against voices that are not of, of god we speak against all things that will not help them in the mighty name of jesus i will bless them with the blessing of the lord i will declare this marriage has to be successful in the name of jesus they shall produce babies at will in the name of jesus do not lack anything good in the name of jesus we ask that no sickness will attack this marriage no sickness no infirmity will attack john's body or rather attack the body of ruby in the mighty name of jesus we ask the gross power of god over shadow their spirit soul and body by day and by night in the name of jesus and do not die prematurely today our grandmothers prophesy into their life as jesus tarries or if jesus tarries do not live less than 93 years we pro pronounce this blessing upon their lives in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost and so shall it be in jesus name amen put your hands together for dr nani i would like to have the bride and the groom to turn face the congregation best man bridesmaid move the chairs please hallelujah ladies and gentlemen in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit i present to you mr and mrs john amma oh put your hands together for them At this time we will process out um will the picture be downstairs down picture man we will take pictures on the stage here uh, so we will file out and then we will come back in to take the pictures amen so the bride and the groom will go out then the um 
maid of honor, best man, the groomsmen, and the team will follow them. And after that, the officiating ministers will follow them out. Then we'll come back in for the pictures. Amen. So. There shall be showers of blessing. This is a promise of Let's, let's please be, be on our feet refreshed. as you march out. From the Savior above. Showers of Hallelujah. So please let's take note of how we 